Hey, Tom Brannon here. I'm so excited to be back here at the airport, ready to head to Berlin for Lenovo Innovation World 2024. Y'all come with me. event being hosted by Lenovo as they announce a new line of AI-enabled laptops. On the stage, we heard from execs from Lenovo as well as AMD, Intel, Qualcomm, Microsoft, and more. But our story really starts the day before where um, the media and analysts got to do a preview of the announcement and got to get hands-on with the technology. So it's day one here at Lenovo Innovation World. Um, we just got a quick pre-brief um, as well as getting a chance to check out the latest and greatest from Lenovo. Um, and in this room, we've actually got a ton of uh, new devices. Um, and it's interesting, there's, there's new products uh, with Intel processors, with AMD, as well as Qualcomm. So a lot to check out here, uh, let's take a look. Great, so I'm here with Kelly. Kelly, tell me about uh, the lineup you have at this table. Absolutely. So everything that we have over here on this table is going to be on our Qualcomm Snapdragon X Plus processor um, that was just announced today. So with all of these, you are getting that X Plus processor in here, which also leads me to the fact that all of these systems here are under $1,000, wow. um, as well as 1,000 euros. So really more affordable pricing on this. So starting here, we have the ThinkBook 16 Gen 7. So the nice thing about this laptop is the fact that it has a whopping uh, 84 watt hour battery in this. Wow. So we're saying about 30 hours of video rundown time. Mm -hmm. So some really great battery life on this as well as only being $750. Can't beat that. <laughs> awesome. And then moving down here, we have our IdeaPad 5X 2-in-1. So this is going to be our latest convertible um, in our IdeaPad lineup. And it has this beautiful OLED display built into it, as well as being completely mil-spec tested. So it's gonna have that same durability that you would expect from our ThinkPad brand. Awesome. And then we also have our IdeaPad Slim 5X. So very similar um, to the 5X 2-in-1. So that OLED display, that mil-spec testing, um, as well as being under a thousand dollars. Awesome. So those are our latest offerings. Kelly, thank you so much. Okay, so I'm here now with uh, Brent at the uh, AMD table. Uh, Brent, thanks for taking a few minutes. Uh, tell me what you got here. So uh, today, what we've got here on the AMD table, um, we have three products that are with the new AMD Ryzen AI processors, um, nicknamed uh, Strix Point. Uh, so we actually have three products that kind of span from consumer uh, to small, medium business, all the way to commercial. Um, we have the Yoga Pro 7, uh, beautiful 2.8K OLED panel. This actually has the AMD Ryzen AI 9 series processor. When we move over to the uh, small to medium business, we go much larger. We go to a 16 inch device with a beautiful 3.2K um, display on this. You do have the numpad. This also has that Ryzen um, AI 9 series processor. And then when we go over to the, the large enterprise product we have uh, for ThinkPad, we have the T14S AMD Gen 6 uh, platform with the Ryzen AI 7 series processor. Awesome. Cool, thanks a lot, Brent. Absolutely, Appreciate thank it. you for stopping by. Yeah. Great, so I'm here at the uh, Intel table with uh, Katie. Katie wants to show us what you got here. Absolutely, so this is our latest uh, Aura Edition laptops. These are running the latest core ultra processors. And I have the ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 13 and the Yoga Slim 7i Aura Editions. This one is tailored more for our business users and this is for our creatives, our hobbyists out there. Um, what makes these so special and unique are the various modes that are offered on our Aura Edition. Um, one of the more exciting ones, I think, is Smart Share. So I take my smartphone, I hit it against the side of my computer, and I have instant access to a lot of my recent photos in my gallery. I can quickly drag and drop it to my computer. It is easy as that. It's already there. So that's exciting. Yep. And that uh, works with iOS and Android, right? It does, yes. And you've got a couple other smart features as well? I do. So we have a couple of different smart modes. We have a dedicated key that will quickly launch a widget. From here, you have access to various privacy modes, things that will help you maintain attention, things that help um, improve your video conferencing experiences. 
things that will help recommend you, you know, posture or eye wellness. Um, yeah, I need, I need the posture well. Yes, like. and then dynamically help your battery. Awesome. Thanks so much. Thank you. So this is the Lenovo Twist. It's actually a, a proof of concept. It's not a real product yet, um, but it shows this kind of uh, automatic rotating screen. It can open and shut and move around. And you might be thinking, why would you ever need that? Um, well, one use case is to have it track you as you move about a room, maybe you're presenting. So kind of cool, uh, some cool innovation there. But now stick around for my three key takeaways. For my first takeaway, I want to talk about choice. Um, Lenovo's leaning into this idea of giving, particularly their enterprise customers, a choice. Do they want to go with Intel, which maybe they've always used? Do they want to go with AMD and um, take advantage of some, uh, you know, uh, price performance um, type things, or do they want to go with uh, super battery efficiency and go with an ARM-based system from Qualcomm? Um, it's really interesting to see how the enterprise kind of adopts these different. Uh, um, uh, chips for different use cases um, and Lenovo is giving them some choice. Now it provides a little confusion in their portfolio perhaps but um, they feel it's worth it. It's worth it to kind of um, push through, help educate their customers on the differences between these platforms and ultimately let their customers decide what's best for them. For my second takeaway I want to talk about Aura. Now Aura is something that uh, Lenovo and Intel jointly developed. So they've been working on this a couple of years. They said they have thousands of hours into this. It's exclusive to both of those companies um, and it's basically a set of features um, that kind of integrate the, the PC with the CPU um, to provide some kind of advanced uh, AI functionality. Um, and there's some cool stuff. There's uh, the um, smart features, they call them. Uh, one actually will look um, at your posture to make sure you're not you know, slouching um, while you're working. Um, it also provides some uh, security, this uh, smart shield where if someone comes up behind you and is looking over your shoulder, you can have your computer like blur out or give you a warning that someone's you know, lurking behind you um, and looking at what you're uh, uh, working on. Um, and, and there's some other features as well, like the smart share where, uh, where I showed earlier, where you can tap you know, your phone to the side of the screen and it'll allow you to transfer photos back and forth. Um, so there's, there's some really cool features and obviously we expect more uh, to come out of this uh, smart uh, suite of uh, AI features. Um, and I think this gives them some, something interesting to talk about that their competitors don't have. You know, I've been thinking a lot about the history of laptops. I found one of my old laptops from the 90s, um, actually an IBM ThinkPad, uh, and then kind of fast forwarding to today, um, being here at this Lenovo event, thinking about the future of laptops. And um, a, a lot's changed in the last you know, 25 years, but a, lot, a lot's still the same. And um, so as we think about the future, is it a power lifting lid and a screen that rotates and tracks you around the room? We'll see if that, um, if that comes to reality. Um, but I do think the AI story is, is where the future lies and it's having um, you know, kind of a, a, an AI that's, that's embedded into every part of, of the laptop, not just software that rides on top, but it's deeply integrated um, into the computer itself. Um, and it'll be interesting to see whether that kind of replaces maybe an operating system level uh, AI or application level AI or or we just got to figure out how to get all these AIs to, uh, uh, to work together. But I'm sure we'll see lots of innovation um, even later this year um, from Lenovo and certainly in the years to come. I want to thank the Lenovo team for having me this week. It was really a great event. I'm so happy I got to be a part of it. And uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on Convergence.